Hello guys and welcome to Free Bird Screw and welcome to 75 day hard generative well learning challenge and this is take 20 and uh, you need to first watch my day 19 video because in this video I actually fine tune a large language model on the uses of mask language modeling because this video is going to be all about the fine tuning and its techniques that are used in the large language model training okay so you know that large language models are everywhere that as many companies are building them from scratch and many companies are fine tuning it but to train those large language model let's just say chat gpt4 or gpt4 it going to cost you millions of dollars because those parameters are so big that it takes extensive amount of resources as well as the processing power okay so that's where the small large language models would come so th those small large language models are run faster they are efficient they can be deployed they can be manageable as compared to the large language models okay so you know that if we are going to build multiple smaller models then those are also very hard to handle okay so that's where the technique is called uh, parameter efficient fine tuning comes so this technique will change the way how you fine tune your large language model because it can use many kind of other techniques like LORA, Q, LORA and many kind of versions of these two techniques as well. Okay, so let's first talk about what is actually the parameter efficient fine tuning. So parameter efficient fine tuning usually work by reducing the number of trainable parameters in a neural network. The most famous and in use techniques are prefix tuning, P tuning, LORA and Q LORA as well. Okay, the most used technique is called LORA and also the QLORA because these are the widely used techniques and you can easily fine tune your large language model on a specific task. Okay, so now, now let's talk about why. Why we use this PEFT for the large language model fine tuning because it saves time because you don't need to train a very large number of parameters in the billions or millions. You can easily spend your time on training the less number of parameters and your model will train faster and much better it also saves the money as well because you don't need to spend so much cost on the high amounts of vram and also the bigger machines as well and then there is another use case that is called multi-tenancy architecture services that i explained in a separate video because it is a complete whole new concept that you can either build a one large language model for multiple or you can build like a uh, different different large language models for uh, different different users as well then which is the best and how we can uh, choose the better in those okay so you can just click on the uh, link in the i button or link in the description and watch that complete video that why multi-tenancy architecture services are required in the large language modeling okay now now let's move down to uh, the first technique that, that is called LORA. So LORA is actually the adapter based technique where you build a kind of a adapter and put that adapter into your large language model and based on that adapter it contains some kind of a new parameters only those kind of parameters are trained in the training step not all the parameters. Okay so this keeps your model size same and still offers the flexibility of parameter efficient tuning okay so if we just see this kind of a uh, uh, diagram there so this diagram completely shows that how it actually uh, works it works by breaking down your weight update metrics into the smaller parts and using them to train the model okay just take a look at the diagram below the weight matrix it is a weight update matrix and the matrix of learned changes from the back propagation so when the back propagation happens, this weight A, B matrix can learn those weights. This is the same size as the number of parameters we need to update the find our model. Okay, that's a very small number of parameters which are kept inside this weight matrix. Okay, this matrix or any other matrix can be represented as a smaller matrices presented here as A and B. Your A and B are those smaller matrices and with R as the rank. The R parameter, it controls the size of those smaller matrices. So these matrices can 
then be used to train those large language model with the help of normal back propagation but updating the parameters in the smaller matrices rather than updating directly in the model okay you are not completing completely like updating your whole uh, large language model but you are updating it with the help of these smaller matrices so we can basically learn that this w through the smaller matrices these smaller matrices can be multiplied together to get back to the original matrices that is the complete large language matrix okay so as these matrices are much smaller this process uses fewer parameters and as a result much fewer computation resources because the size of the matrix is very smaller this also results in smaller checkpoints as you don't have to store the whole model but just the smaller matrices only okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how this complete loara works because it only small weight matrices are updating not all the parameters but if you multiply them and see them then this is the whole weight matrix okay okay so now if you just see this uh, this is like a small code of how you can uh, configure the loara fine tuning for your large language model and in the next slide i show you, uh, i showcase the whole uh, loara fine tuning on a large language model by using the gpu and kaggle uh, notebooks as well we just will see that okay now our next technique is called q loara fine tuning so q loara fine tuning is the best technique that can be used after the loara because q loara fine technique is combine the high precision computing technique with the low precision storage method okay so it works on the processing power of very high precision computing but it stores the data in the low precisions so if you know about the precisions it it is the uh, floating point number precisions okay so this helps keep the model size small while making sure that the mo model is still highly performant and highly accurate as well okay so uh, the q lora works by introducing three new concepts that reduce the memory while keeping the same quality okay so these methods are four bit normal float double quantization and paged optimizer so let's talk about these the very first is the four bit normal float the four bit normal float is the optimal data type built on the top of the quantile quantization techniques so the quantile quantization techniques is basically called as the binning techniques you bin the whole uh, discrete numbers or the continuous numbers in the bins okay the four bit uh, normal float works by estimating the 2k plus 1 quantiles on a 0 to n distribution so then normalizing into the range of minus 1 to 1 so once we have that we can easily update the weights of the neural networks as well okay so here you just see the example of the original data and the quantized data you see that in the quantized data the index of the 2 and 3 is on the quantile of 2 so in that way the 2 and 3 would come in the second quantile so it is almost similar to the binning process okay okay now our sec second uh, thing is called double quantization so the double quantization is the process of quantizing the quantization constants during the quantization process in the 4 bit nf quantization okay so when you are doing the 4 bit nf quantization only then you can apply the double d quantization so this is not important but it can save the 0.5 bits per parameter on average and this helps with the process because q lora uses block wise k bit quantization okay with the help of block wise k bit quantization okay so we can create multiple chunks or blocks of weights which are then quantized independently and the block wise quantization method lead to multiple constants being created and then we can have those quantized save in the additional space so then you don't need like additional storage to store those uh, kind of big numbers because those all big numbers are more quantized here okay uh, now when fine 
ट्यूनिंग विद द क्यू लॉरा वी यूज द लॉरा फाइन ट्यूनिंग मैकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रिएटिंग टू स्मॉलर वेट अपडेट मैट्रसिस एंड देन यूजिंग दैम टू अपडेट द वेट्स ऑफ द होल न्यूरल नेटवर्क और द होल लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल हैंस वी कीप द लॉरा मैट्रसिस इन द हाई प्रोसीजन फॉर्मेट लाइक अ फ्लोट सिक्सटीन एंड ड्यूरिंग द बैक प्रोपिगेशन एंड द फॉरवर्ड पास द वेट्स ऑफ द न्यूरल नेटवर्क और द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल आर डीकॉन्टाइज so the actual training is still happening in the high precision because we are decontizing the weight at each back propagation and the forward pass but the storage is is in the lower precision because we are quantizing those weights okay so the concept of quantizing and decontizing is just the binning and the unbinning okay so this cause quantization errors to emerge but the model training itself is able to compensate for those inefficiencies in the quantization process so your whole model will be efficiently performing well okay so that's how these two techniques work like the lora and the q lora next thing is how this q lora fine tuning technique actually works so you can see this kind of a python code here we load a kind of a model and then uh, set up its configuration the load in 4 bit and the other configurations are here the this kind of uh, attribute that load in 4 bit is equal to 2 so this sets that we are updating those matrices for the q lora okay if you set it for the false then this means that you are setting these configuration for the lora lora okay now we get the pre trained model we get the checkpoint here and then configure our lora matrix here because we need to build two small lora matrix so that we can uh, keep our uh, processing in the high precision okay but our storage in the low precision so that's why we need to configure the lora configuration adapter as well okay okay so now we'll see that how this uh, uh, q lora fine tuning will work we will see in the kaggle notebook as well and uh, tactically implement this lora and the q lora with the large language model like meta ll ama and also the other large language model as well and we will fine tune those models with the help of these two techniques so just be with it and if you guys want to know more about uh, prompt engineering data science financial modeling and many more thing you can watch my youtube videos and also uh, read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much